Okay, so what I've got here is the next version of this uh, Wiimote object tracker. So I've got the same infrared LED that I had been using, and I've got the same uh, Wiimote on top of the servo motor here, same control system really. I've just changed the, the software a little bit. Uh, pretty much what I've implemented now, if uh, you look at the Wiimote again, is right now if the Wiimote is locked onto the, uh, onto the, onto the uh, infrared LED, it follows it pretty well, pretty, a little bit smoother than the last version. Now the thing we've implemented is if it loses track of it, there's a, 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 a scanning method that just starts kind of rippling outward from the last, uh, from the angle that it last saw the infrared LED at. So anytime I, it sees the LED again, it'll pretty much pick it back up. We have to optimize this because if I lose it right here and then pick it back up in the same spot, it's, it's optimized for that. It's not optimized for if it loses it over on one angle and then there's a very large angle deviation, it takes it a little while to pick up that angle. The other thing that we have going in this version, if you want to come around here and take a look at the computer screen, is we've gotten this to output what we think is a pretty accurate measurement of the, uh, of the angle. Uh, we are getting this in um, hopefully 1 34th of a degree increment. So we are hopefully getting much uh, finer than 1 degree increments for this, uh, for this track. So uh, anyway, that's it. I guess uh, I'll record another video whenever we've improved this a little bit more. Thanks for watching.